Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. So if you're new, please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave, and if you're a returning subscriber, do hit the little bell down below for notifications on when I put up new videos. I upload twice a week. You guys can probably already tell by my voice that I'm pretty damn sick right now. I feel like I'm going to cough every fifth word, so I'm going to sound pretty monotone in this video or else I'm just going to be a coughing mess this whole time. But the show must go on. YouTube doesn't sleep and I have another haul for you today. So this time I'm hauling from one of my personal favorites. Eloqui has been tried and true since pretty much the beginning of my YouTube career. I love them. I know I can count on them for some pretty spectacular pieces. Today's video is seriously no exception. I am so so excited to bring you this haul and since I'm going to try and keep my talking to a minimum, grab a snack, get comfortable, and let's get started. Alright, so first up in the haul is this really cute, very like old-fashioned, which is obviously something I like if you've been watching my channel for even like a month. This is in a size 20. I'm pretty sure I got most everything in a size 20. I could sort of tell by looking at this that it wasn't gonna have any stretch and I was right, like there's no stretch around the waist or anything. However, the hips are free, so like depending on your body shape, I mean really just go from there. But one of the things that I really like about Eloqui is they have different fits based off different body types. They have Viola, which is for pear shapes, and then they have, I think, Gina, which is for apple shapes. I haven't had a chance to try out the Gina yet, so I'm really, really excited to do that at some point. So first off, this is definitely, I mean, like material-wise and stuff, feels a little bit more like a transitional piece. This is a really good dress for this time of year, in my opinion, because we're getting a little bit colder weather, and this is not something that I could wear on like a super hot day by any means a little bit too heavy like there's lining and then the fabric itself is like non-breathe which is not something you'll catch me in this time of year especially since I'm like running a fever right now but it's so cute I love the colors of it the pattern is super unique to anything that I've owned it's like definitely that style that I try to put in my wardrobe like as much as possible because it's like pastel and cute but I don't think I've ever really worn like pink and blue together but I'm really really liking these as a combination. Eloquy stuff is always like super well thought out in my opinion like the things that you might have to worry about with like other brands don't really have to worry about with Eloquy because they put a little bit of extra thought into it. The only thing that kind of sucks I am a size D or double D bust but I'm, I'm getting a little bit of gapping around the bust here and I feel like a size 22 would be um, a little bit big. This does come undone, by the way. I can tie it and tie it again. And then all these are obviously, as you can tell, real buttons. And you can see this hits me. Can you even see? I tried so hard to make sure you guys could see everything before I started recording. But you can see it kind of hits me like just below the knee, which seems to be a pretty standard length for like any of the Eloquent stuff that I've ever tried. So I just spent the last like five minutes like miserably coughing. <coughs> As you can tell, I have a lozenge in my mouth, so please forget it. I just really can't talk without it. But this dress actually cheered me up. It is so much cuter than I expected. Like, so much cuter. And I wasn't at first, like, really sure. Oh my god, it has pockets. It has pockets. Okay, back to my train of thought. I wasn't sure how I was going to like it because I would never have thought to put, like, bananas on, like, a dark navy dress. I mean, with this, like, bow tie as well. But Eloqui has like such unique combinations and unique pairings, which is like, again, one of the reasons I love them. But this looks so much cuter on the body than I had ever, ever expected. You can definitely play with the neckline if you want, but I really, really like this neckline a lot. I think it's super cute and like super vintage inspired. And this is also removable, by the way, actually. Um, have a dress from them that I got like a few years ago and it had like literally the same sort of ribbon but it was just black instead and I've like repurposed it for like something in my hair so that's another reason why I'm happy it came with this because I can use it for my hair but seriously so much cuter this is actually like a really nice lightweight fabric which is nice because even though I'd say the colors and stuff might not necessarily be like summer summer it's like summer enough and then also it's a great transition piece and as I already found out 
pockets hello there's no lining on this either by the way it seems like it's a pretty standard like cotton fabric and I am wearing this in a size 20 you can see there's no stretch to it I really like this though I'm also really fond of the fact that it hits me above the knee because I feel like a lot of eloquy stuff is sort of like below the knee which might be more like I don't know for a working woman or a working person rather um, but I really like the above the knee look since this does already have like the tie-in of the red I'm pairing it with this jacket from Eloqui. It is stunning and I really, really love it. I kind of just had it off the shoulders because, really? <laughs> because I feel like that's a very like vintage look. And this is also in a size 20. It's like a pretty good fit for me. Not too big, not too small. I also do have like really broad shoulders and I'd say this is like, I mean it could be bigger, it could be more like forgiving, but it's not like by any means super tight it's like a really nice sturdy feeling jacket like super super well made i've had like cheap versions of like the moto leather jacket look um and sometimes it's just good to get like a good solid piece i haven't actually tried to see if this will zip up yet but based off of how it feels on my body it should zip up sometimes you just gotta fiddle with these get everything in place come on you kind of gotta guide it you can guys can see it fits it's really nice and this is going to be perfect um now that we're well not really i mean the last few days it's been really cool so this is great for transition weather i feel like red is kind of um being introduced as like a fall color now too so it's really nice although i really do hope i'm seeing <laughs> my favorite mustard color and uh red is not replacing that it's really cute I like this combination together a lot I'm just kind of burning up a little a little bit right now so I'm gonna take it. all right so I don't want to mislead you guys this top is not from Eloquii it's only the skirt I just didn't have a top to go with it I really like the skirt in general I just don't know how I like it on me and I'm wondering if I would have got like a size 22 if it would have fit more along the lines of what I expected it to fit you can see that it's kind of meant to be more of like a skater skirt. This kind of skirt like hugs this area here, like it hugs my belly, and it just kind of hugs and then flows out. I feel like for a pear shape, it would it's made like and constructed a little bit more for a pear shape um, as opposed to an apple shape. And I don't think I got any specific shape with this, so I just kind of got to play with it. Like I'm not sure if I'm supposed to wear it a little higher up or like a little lower down. I feel like. It's going to take some getting used to, but like in terms of the fit, it's like really, really comfortable, pretty loose, definitely um, looser than the other dresses I tried on and feels like really breezy and nice. It's definitely more of like a lightweight fabric as well. So I'd say this is definitely more of like a fall skirt to me. And I think I'm just going to try and play around with it and see how I feel um, and see if like playing around with the fit of it and maybe the like length of it and stuff makes me feel a little bit better about it. Like you guys know I'm not really self-conscious about my belly. The only thing um, that can be a little bit, um, not, I'm not gonna use the word shitty, that can suck a little bit is sometimes when a skirt like this isn't necessarily made for people with a belly. Okay, how cute is this skirt? Getting excited makes me cough, so I need to not be raising my voice at all. Monotone speaking time. This skirt is adorable. It has like fruit print all over, but it's kind of like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it, but it sort of reminds me a little like pop art in a way. And then it's on a black skirt, which again is not necessarily something I see with like fruit print. And I already discovered earlier it has pockets, but like really deep pockets really really nice pockets as well and it's oh it's so comfortable really light skirt in the fabric it's like super flowy and i am wearing this in a size 20 just as i was the others and it's a pretty good fit there is an elastic band at the back here so you do get a little bit more comfort that way this is also like one of those pieces that i can see being good for like transitional period of time like really like end of august beginning of september which is what we're going into because you don't want to necessarily give up on summer yet but you don't want to like commit to your summer wardrobe as much as you did so this is kind of like bringing both worlds together it's really nice i like these skirts a lot it obviously doesn't quite go with the navy very well but there's so many different colors here that you could pull from and pair with i really really like it the only thing is this kind of fabric is the fabric that will like wrinkle 
pretty easily so you're gonna have to be careful with it or like rather just make sure you iron it or steam it whenever you go out because I've had skirts like made like this before from Eloqui and they wrinkle pretty fast and it's like the only thing that's unfortunate but everything else about it is super cute and I love it so much. Okay I really really like these jeans. Okay feeling a cough cough. No. In the heck am I gonna learn not to raise my voice during this haul? I really like these jeans. Actually they're not jeans at all they're kind of more of like a legging fabric. They're super, you can see, super stretchy. I'm wearing these in a 20S, which means 20 short. Um, I didn't really get to fiddle with this much, but you can see it's like mid calf. I love the capri look. I'm actually more fond of the capri look than I am like full pants. I feel like it looks a little nicer. You can pair it with like a flat or heel and it looks really, really good. And then also that means I can still wear it when it's a little bit warm outside. And these are just so ridiculously comfortable, you guys. I can't even tell you. I actually put off trying them on for a while because I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about them. Um, just because, I don't know, I feel like the last few pair of pants that I've got, I've kind of been like a little indifferent about. But the fit of these are so comfortable. Um, I really, really like how they look on the body, and again, I have that bigger belly area, so oftentimes when I have to size up to accommodate my belly, that means I have like a lot of extra pegginess in my legs, and I don't like that look. I really, really like the look of a good tight-fitted jean, pant, skirt, whatever. This definitely does a really, really good job of making sure that I have that tight look while not feeling suffocated either. Like I feel very, very good in this. They're a little bit thick, but with that being said, I don't feel like I'm boiling in these as opposed to some of the other pieces I tried on that were maybe even a little bit lighter in fabric, but felt like they were insulating me more. These actually feel a little bit cool on the legs, so it's nice. And then you can already see there's some decent pockets. Totally forgot to mute my computer. I'm sorry if that made you think you got a text message. Everything about this is really nice. I like how high-waisted they are. There is no belt hoop, by the way, if you did feel like you wanted to wear it with a belt. And then also, I really like that it's got that invisible zipper look. So if you are not somebody who likes that capri look, don't worry, these definitely come longer. I, I just made sure to actually pick the short off. So I'm kind of on the fence about this one um, for a few reasons and I'll explain why. First off, I got this in a size 18. Um, didn't know why I did exactly and then I put it on and I realized okay it was definitely better as a size 18. I have relatively broad shoulders but the um, shoulder keeps falling off and it's supposed to be worn like up as a square neck and then also the neckline itself kind of makes it hard for me to conceal my bra so I'm like fidgeting a little bit to kind of figure out how <laughs> I'm supposed to wear this but I'm sure I'll get it and figure it out because I really really like the print on it again it's a really good transitional pattern to me and it is a very very thin dress but I can't remember the name of this fabric. I know the name of it. 100% non-breathe and I don't love that about that. I don't love that this is one of those like non-breathe fabrics because I don't like sweating in these at all so I wouldn't be wearing it out until it was like pretty damn cold outside or at least cold enough to know that I wasn't going to sweat profusely. There's no pockets, as I'm realizing, none at all. And it is very interesting. I really like the the look of the dress itself the sleeves are gorgeous i just can't decide if it's something that i like on me or if i don't like on me i feel like the fabric feels a little bit cheaper than everything else as well so i'm on the fence about it it's still really cute though and i like it a lot and also in the back there is like some string so i feel like if somebody else was here with me and was able to kind of um tie the string a little bit tighter then i wouldn't have the issue with the you know shoulders falling down so i really think it's a matter of maybe playing with this dress a little bit more and seeing how I like it, but this will look really cute with like a pair of, I don't know, green tights, red tights, blue tights, maybe not blue tights, blue and black together is not my favorite thing in the world, or even like mustard tights because there's so many different colors going on here. I just, I really, really like the pattern of this dress and I think that they also had this dress in a top. Okay, so this is actually not my first time trying on this dress. I've worn it quite a few times. Oh, I even have a dime in the pocket. 
that's proof I've worn this before um, because I really really like it I wore it for the first time last week wore it again the following day and have been obsessed with it since I didn't know how I was gonna like it on me because sometimes um, necklines like this and stuff just don't work on me with bras and I could already tell by looking at it that the shape of the cup wasn't appropriate for something that was braless but it fits like an absolute dream I'm wearing this in a size 20 perfect fit feels very very comfortable on me there is no stretch around the actual waist but there is like an elastic band at the back which kind of gives me more room in my back where I tend to be pretty wide because I have back fat and it just feels so nice on the body the straps are a little bit thicker as well and I feel like as long as you kind of get a bra that you can camouflage into the green and the white it will work pretty okay because I'm wearing a white bra and I don't feel like it's the focal point when I put this on my body it feels like the dress is a pretty damn good focal point when I'm wearing this all in all honestly probably one of my favorites this is a really nice like moderately heavy fabric but it feels very flowy very breezy on my body also pockets who doesn't love some damn pockets in a dress but really really obsessed with this one I know I don't sound it but kind of miserably sick right now if you haven't noticed all right so last and not least and the one that i wanted to save for the last because it's the one i wanted to try on the most i have actually been eyeing this since i saw them put this out and i am indifferent i feel like it's gonna grow on me it's just so different from anything i've worn and i kind of have this like around my bust and my shoulders is like where i'm really really wide so i tend to not do anything that's like too over the top in that area and this is pretty over the top but I knew I was taking that risk when I asked for this piece because you know you can tell from the second that you see it it's gonna look pretty over the top when you put it on now that I'm looking at it a little bit more in the viewfinder it's really starting to grow on me I love love this color so much I really like how dainty this is how cute it is I also really like that it hits above the knee if this was any longer I don't think I would like it I can't remember if I said but I got this in a size 20 it's a really good size for me this is gonna be a great piece in the fall as well I can already tell this might be a piece that I wear all the time because plaid in the fall is amazing but also the fact that I can still wear something that screams um, the fall and autumn but it still has that like beautiful pink blush color that I love so much very appreciative of that <sighs> yeah actually now that I'm like looking at myself in the viewfinder I'm kind of appreciating it a little bit more this is um, pretty damn cute well you guys that's everything for the try on portion of this video and as I expected Eloquii blew me away again like I think the moment for me was when I tried on those red pants I was just like wow this is an incredible incredible piece. I want to give a big huge thank you to Eloqui for sending me these pieces. Love showing you guys Eloqui pieces and right now they are introducing a lot of good transitional pieces which I said about a thousand times in the video is like the thing that I'm looking forward to most this time of year but my throat is a tickling and I feel like I need to stop talking for a solid hour or two but I want to know which of these pieces were your favorite so before you leave make sure you take to the comments to let me know and and also, as per usual, you will be able to find links to everything I'm wearing in the description below as well. Anyways, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video. But don't forget, you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday. And now, sometimes Friday with a vlog. And blog posts every Tuesday and every Friday. And I'll see you next time. Bye.